Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Kristen drinking half a liter, 0 0.5 liters of orange juice with breakfast each day for 15 days. That's actually quite a bit of orange juice. So how many milliliters? Ah, so we have to convert liters to milliliters of orange juice does Kristen drink during these 15 days. So first we're going to have to convert from liters to milliliters then we're going to have to multiply that by 15 because that's what she did one day we're going to, have to get 15 days all right when we are converting our metric units we need to go back to our king henry so hopefully you've heard this before king henry died by drinking chocolate milk think of like please excuse my dear aunt sally uh, that's just a mnemonic that we use and so i'll write that right here king henry died by drinking chocolate milk. What does that do for us? Well, that helps me remember all of the prefixes because our metric system is based on tens. It's a base 10 system. So this B right here is where we're going to start. This is actually our base unit. The B stands for base. So in this case, it's going to be liters. If we're dealing with mass, it could be grams. If we are dealing uh, with le length or measurement, it could be meters. But we're dealing with liters right here. So that's our base unit. So think of this as like the ones place, because it is like a, a place value system. And then after that, what we do is we, we kind of start and we start building our prefixes. So this is our, the king stands for kilo and this is like our thousands place the H stands for hecto right there that's hundreds the D the first D the indied is deca so that's like tens place this right here this base unit is our ones place and then the drinking is deci so that is the tenths place We've got the C, we are familiar with centi. That is the hundredths place. It takes 100 centi liters to get one liter. And then finally, we've got the milli. That is the prefix that means thousandths. So think of this metric system as a place value chart. So we're going to start with what we know. We've got 0 0.5 liters. So we're going to make the ones place go where the unit is. So here's my liters. So here's my ones place. I'm going to put that right there. 0 0.5. So this 0 0.5 liters, I need to translate this into first milliliters. So I'm going to make my milliliters become the ones place, which means I'm going to have to take my decimal and move it over once, twice, three times. So I've got my decimal over here. Now this is my ones place right here. But I've got some blanks. Well, my blanks are going to turn into that right there. So now I'm going to have 500. So here we go. Our first conversion here is 0.5 liters equals 500 milliliters. Now do not choose that. That is the incorrect answer. Half a liter is 500 milliliters, which makes sense because 1,000 milliliters makes one full liter. Remember, we did it for 15 days. We're going to have to multiply this by 15. So that's why 500 is incorrect. So that's 0, 0, and that's 25. And then we're going to just do 500 here. So there we go, 7,500. Uh, that's going to be our answer there. So that's... That's how we use King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk to get our prefixes for the metric system. Our answer here is B.